Ah, oh, life is being a passenger. Hey, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. So if you have a Primavera Sprint or even the older Vespa, such as a LX150, LX50, S50, ET4, uh, they're gonna use this 26 liter smaller factory top case on the Vespa. Well, none of these top cases come with a backrest pad for the passenger, but fortunately Piaggio has got you covered. There's pretty much a matching backrest pad for every color seat combination on the Primavera and Sprint. And many of them will carry over to the Vespa LX. You know, for instance, they had black seats and uh, blue seats. So you could use probably a Yacht Club uh, passenger backrest pad, or you can get the elusive um, Sean Witherspoon edition backrest pad, and it even comes with a cover with it. Uh, we have those all available at scooterwest.com. Just search PR35 pad and you'll see all the variations of these passenger backrest pads. Well, you probably stumbled across this video because you're wondering on how to install it. They're very simple, but there definitely is some tricks to getting them installed successfully. So let's get right to it. I'll show you the two tools needed and we'll get this backrest pad installed. So super simple to install. You're gonna need a drill with 11 64th drill bit or a four millimeter for everybody else in the world. Uh, number two Phillips driver. So let's get right to it. So the part number from Scooter West is PR35 pad dash whatever color it is. There's several colors available for the Primavera. Uh, this one being kind of a light brown. They also have a darker brown. Um, everything from just the standard black ones, different variations. You can find them all on the website scooterwest.com. So you get the new passenger backrest pad and in there you're going to find a little hardware pack. And I'll dump this out in my hands here, show you, what you what's included. So there's eight pieces in here and there's a thread forming screws and there's these rubber bumpers. And the reason the rubber bumpers are included is when you put a helmet inside the top case, the screw heads won't grind on your helmet or any other contents in there. So they kind of protect the contents in the top case. So the first thing you want to do is prepare the backrest pad for these self-tapping screws. So you have four spots where these screws go and they're little dimples that are in the plastic. Um, they're not already tapped for the screws. So I always recommend tapping them for the screws before putting the, the backrest pad in. So with these self threading screws, you put a lot of pressure and just start turning and it will cut threads right into the backrest pad. And just go a couple turns in and repeat with the rest of them. This one already did a hole, but just go around all four spots and go ahead and cut threads into these four dimples on the backrest pad. So you're gonna find four dimples in your top case. There's these kind of large ones that are more like a hot dog shape and then the round ones up towards the center top of the case. So you just take your drill bit and obviously get to a good angle. Center your drill bit. If you're not confident with drilling and don't have a sharp enough drill bit, I would suggest using a center punch and just go ahead and carefully drill the holes out. They don't take much pressure to go through. Take care not to run the drill into your seat. Um, with these dimple ones, it's a little different. You go right to the very tip of the hot dog on those dimples and pretty much do the same thing and repeat with the other three posi two positions here. Very, very easy to drill through with a sharp drill bit. And I recommend using a sharp drill bit because you're gonna have success the first time or use a center punch if you need to uh, want to verify that you cut the holes in the right spot. So I got all four holes drilled. Uh, now we're ready to install the top case pad. So go ahead and take one of the rubber bumpers and drop one of the screws into the well of that bumper. And from the inside of the top case, go ahead and feed that screw right through the hole here. And we have our backrest pad oriented. And then go ahead and line up with the first pre-drilled hole that you have. And now get your screwdriver 
and go ahead and just start to screw into the backrest pad. You don't want to just enough to get it started. So I got maybe a turn or two on there and we'll move on to the second top position and do the same. Go ahead and get the screw through. And you'll want to position it so it ends up landing into the hole that you already pre-drilled. And right now, the backrest pad is hanging from the two top ones. So we'll go a little further with the screw. We're not going to tighten it all the way down. And I'll warn you, you don't want to over tighten these screws because what happens is the screw will pull right through the rubber bumper and you'll have to start over again. Or you'll strip the, the, the plastic threads in your backrest pad. So just keep that in mind. Uh, very gentle. You just want to, right when you feel some resistance, uh, the top case pad, uh, the screws bottom out, that's as far as you want to go. So go between the two. And now we'll move on to the bottom pair of screws. So the tip to getting these bottom screws started, you see how the, the backrest pad is kind of pulled away from the, uh, the, the case here. We'll prepare one of the screws and put it in the well, or the, the bumper, and pop it through. But this time, you're kind of going by feel and not necessarily, um, these. you want to put some pressure on the backrest pad. And now you can see it's pulled the backrest pad right against the plastic of the top case. And go ahead and repeat with the last screw and you're pretty much done. Again, you're not going to over tighten these screws. Just enough stop right when you feel resistance. That's as far as you need to go with these screws. Well, thanks for watching. This is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and Scooter West. Uh, until next time, if you're looking for a how-to or accessories for your Vespa, you're on the right YouTube channel, Vespa Motorsport. So consider subscribing. Just type in Vespa Motorsport in the YouTube search and you can see all the various videos we have all about Vespas. That's all we do. Until next time, Robot here.